So what we are looking at over here is uh, a couple of clips. We're going to use this clip right here, this Opalo clip, uh, which was shot at a winery um, up in Paso Robles. And then we have a timeline, which is just a standard dynamic range timeline. This footage was shot in uh, in high dynamic range and HDR. The the timeline or project as Final Cut calls them is uh, in standard def. It's a 1920, 1920 by 1080 standard dynamic range. Sorry, fighting a little bit of a cold so the brain isn't working 100%. Okay, so if we look at the footage, you can see in the viewer here, it looks fine because because Apple um, and Final Cut will, will uh, make adjustments for this to play back and look right, especially if you have a high dynamic range monitor. But where the problem uh, comes in is when you throw it into the project or timeline, it's going to tell you that you're adding a high dynamic range or HDR clip to an SDR project. We're going to say OK, but then down here you'll see that it's all completely blown out. And this is because it's an HDR clip in an SDR timeline. So to fix that, it's actually an effect. So we're going to go over here to our effects browser, bring that up. Down here you have all of these effects and honestly you don't want to search through all of them. So we're just going to make sure that all is selected. We're going to come down here to the search bar and then we're just going to type in, let me get this to where you can actually see it. We're going to type in HDR and it's just going to pop up with this HDR tools effect. We're going to take that HDR tools effect and we are going to drop it on the footage we're trying to make the adjustment to. You can see already that it's starting to make the proper adjustment, we just have to um, we have to adjust one setting. So we're going to come up here where we can turn on the inspector, and in the inspector, right here under HDR tools, you're going to take this HDR to Rec 709 SDR and change it to HLG to Rec 79 SDR. And once we select that, then you can see that our footage looks beautiful, just like it's supposed to look in a Rec. 709 or standard dynamic range timeline. Okay, so that's how to do it on a clip by clip basis within the timeline. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of an advanced tip here. So let's get rid of this out of the timeline. Uh, a lot of folks don't know that you can actually open the clip itself here in the browser into its own timeline. And the power the power behind that is then you can apply effects to it and then those effects will pass through to any timeline that you put it into. Cool, huh? So we're going to go up here to the clip menu. We're going to select clip. Well, first we're going to select the clip we want to do this to down here in the browser. Then we're going to select clip, open clip. Once you open that clip, that means it's opened it into the timeline. And again, it's it's going to look fine here because, you know, Final Cut's doing its thing. And so now we're going to take this HDR tools effect and drop it on just like we did before. We're going to change this to uh, HDR. LG to Rec. 709 SDR. And again, and it's going to look dark here now because Final Cut is making these adjustments. So don't worry that it looks dark. That's fine. We're going to back back out of our, with this button, we're going to back out of the clip that we have opened its timeline. And now we're back into the original project that we had. So now if we take this clip and throw it into the timeline, it's still going to give us that warning. But since we've already applied the effect at the clip level, that effect passes right through into the timeline. Does that make sense? We could even take just a section of this clip and throw it into the timeline. It's going to give us that warning again. You can obviously turn it off by saying do not show again. But again, that effect is applied before we put it into the timeline. So the power of this is that 
you can do this before you do your edit so that you don't have to go back in after the edit and place the HDR tool effect onto every single piece of video that needs it. So I hope that was helpful.